what's going on everyone welcome back to another episode if you guys saw the previous video you know that we sprayed some high build primer and she is looking beautiful all one color to the plan for today is to do some blocking and sanding her down and then fixing all the defects so one of the main reasons why i wanted to see her all one color is for i can see all these defects that i'm going to be fixing with my 3m body filler so this is the body filler that i prefer to use i mean this is the only body filler that i've used for detailed work this will see this right here this will make this go away perfectly and all the little pinholes and all the little defects in the corners and stuff this is what i'm going to be using to fill it up it, it sounds super smooth first step is to start blocking or guide coating i got myself a block over here with some two some 320 grit sandpaper and i got some guide coat so i'm going to be spraying guide coat along the areas that i'm working on and hopefully we can finish all of this today so we can shoot some base primer and sealer tomorrow and hopefully painting and have her all one color the color that she put she's supposed to be by the end of the week it's wednesday so i'm trying to finish this by friday because monday we got to take it to the windshield guy for we can put a beautiful windshield and then i gotta start rigging and we gotta be in the water by the end of the month all right here we go That's probably still a lot of guy coat, but it is what it is. All right. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. This is this normal? The sandpaper usually get this bad, this fast. Smacks right off. Okay. All right, I can. All right. Yeah, all right. Cool. So I keep having an issue that the sandpaper is getting clogged up. And yeah, it does go away when you smack it a little bit. All right, it does go away. But if I got to be doing this for this whole boat, I'm not going to finish this week. I'm going to finish next month if I got to do this. I saw a video last night of some guys sanding and blocking high build primer. He said in his video, and he showed in his video, that he used 220 grit on a DA just to knock off the top texture. So just to knock off the texture... And then he came back, after he guy coated it again, he came back with the block and he sanded it down. So I'm going to try that method. I'm sure you guys are going to comment down below if this is the right, the wrong way, the right way. It feels like the wrong way because it's the easy way. But this is the way I did my checkmate, straight DA. That boat over there has no blocking. It was just straight DA and it came out perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video. Please like the video. But here's an update The DA sander worked perfectly. I make sure to leave it down smooth uh, Flat when I was sanding and not to stay in, a, in a one area for a long time And I also didn't rub 
on certain areas more than I needed to. So the, the front is pretty much perfect. I am going to block it just for the fun of it, but this feels super smooth. Now the back, where I did a lot of fiberglass work, obviously as expected, there's a lot of low spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block this area the most. And this is where my 3M body filler, my lightweight 3M body filler is going to shine. Unfortunately, my DA took a poop. No more bueno. Smells like it's burnt. it burned up. Good old Harbor Freight. I'm a big fan of Harbor Freight, but I really hate when my tools break on me midway of working through it. So yeah, I still got to get all these corners. I'm just going to end up doing that with the straight edge, straight block. And I guess this corner I also missed. We got to do this again. I'm not dusty. I know I look crazy. It's part of building a boat. Nope, she's officially dead. I come to the store way too often. So, $70 in this bag right here. Off of just this, seventy dollars. Approximately ten hours later. So last night I decided to put in the seats just to get a feel how it's gonna look. It's gonna be four bucket seats. Also put in the hatch. This is gel coat. This is my first time gel coating. I rolled it on, and it did not come out how I wanted to. So obviously I gotta sand this down. I'm just gonna use the gel coat as base. I'm still indecisive either if I want to put a C deck up here or if I want to make a foam padding. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. And on the floor, I'm pretty convinced that I want to put carpet. I know a lot of guys don't like carpet, but I feel like carpet will hide a lot of the defects. You see here in the corners, there's a lot of defects. And I feel like carpet will make that all go away and make it all look nice and clean. I'm not going to be putting any side panels on this hall for now. I'm only going to put the cushion in the back if I decide to do that. And the four bucket seats. Something simple, quick. I got these seats at BassBoatSeats.com. These are the seats that I had in the checkmate. They didn't have any more gray ones in stock. So I had to get these white ones. I'm gonna be reupholstering these in black because the whole the whole interior is gonna be black with a Garmin GPS, the billet shifter, and a compartment there for the phone. I'm not sure if I want to put a glove box just because this dash is so skinny, but I might put a glove box here also in the future. But yeah, I guess like I said before, this is a body filler. That I'm going to be using to cover up all the pinholes. This body filler, you can only mix up a small amount at a time. And be very careful on how much hardener you put. Because this stuff dries super fast. Super, super fast. And you see all these little spots. Now I'm going to be using my big spatula. Perfect. Look at that. That's gonna be butter. Alright. So I'm gonna mix up with this little one. And put a little bit. Just a little bit. Like one dot there. One dot there. And that's a lot. In my opinion, that's a lot. But oh, I should be using a plastic mixing thing it's hard doing this with one hand
fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish, hand me the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Alright, so about 10 minutes later, it's officially ready for sanding. I'm gonna sand it down some 220 grit and I'm gonna do this process to the entire boat. While I was waiting for that, I touched up all these spots right here, all of this and this. And then by the time I was done cleaning my tray and my, my whatever these things are, it dried up. So I sand it down smooth. They wanna say my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games. I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these things I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave than be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. Right, guys there we go I know you guys can't feel this but this is super smooth all my low spots have been covered up you can see how thin it goes that it, you can even see through it but this is all smooth I still got to sand this little spot right here and then I'm gonna re primer this with regular primer not high build I'm gonna thin it out a little bit more so I can just block it and not have to use the DA to take off the, te the texture. I just want to make sure there's no low spots there. I have a few little patches here that I'm going to continue fixing. And this side needs a lot of work, so I'm going to focus on this side. I'm going to end the video here. The camera's about to die. I don't want to make the video too, too long. It's 30. I don't want to make the video too long. That is what I'm doing. I have to do it to the entire boat. Hopefully in the next video... We can see her all one color again, primered. I can I can lay down some sealer and then paint and clear coat. So I'm gonna, I've read all the comments that you guys left in the previous video. I'm gonna invest into an air filter because I was getting a lot of water in my spray gun when I was spraying this high build primer. I'm gonna invest in that. I'm gonna invest in a little bit of a better booth. Well, I'm gonna be the same booth, but I'm gonna close her all up and make sure that no wind and no dust and nothing falls on my paint. And yeah, that's what I'm doing guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Remember, I'm not a professional fiberglass guy or body guy. This is everything, I've learned everything on YouTube. Uh, I hope you guys found this entertaining. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. You know the deal, have a good night. Fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took the red pill I know life's short so I wanna live real But how's it supposed to feel?
always cap, I ain't playing no games I just do that's fact and I don't feel no shame It's a mood you lack, I go crazy Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on the shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said